stark images of the centre-back refusing to flinch as a hail of plastic bottles, shoes, batteries, paper cups and even phones rained down on him in last weekend's Riyadh Derby shocked TV viewers and watchers on social media. The incident has made him a cult hero among his Saudi fans with Degenic amassing over 52,000 followers on Twitter just two days after opening his account. That's more than the likes of Socceroo star Aaron Moy and skipper Mark Milligan. His courage in the face of the onslaught has led some fans to dub him Gladiator Degenic. The incident provided a sobering reminder of the passions and pitfalls of football in the kingdom in just Degenic's fourth game for the club he joined from Red Star Belgrade in January. It was nothing to be afraid of, I just tried to show them you can't achieve anything by throwing things at anyone, the Degenic told the world game. It's not ideal. I wouldn't throw anything at anyone out of disrespect or for any reason. There's no need to harm anybody. We're just footballers, entertainers. We do our job and people should come and watch us play and be happy and go home and get on with their lives. Deep into injury time, with league leaders Al Hilal coasting at 2-0, Degenic went to retrieve the ball for throw-in, and all hell broke loose. As photographers scattered for cover, Degenic remained motionless under the onslaught in a show of defiance. Before being led away to safety by the referee, there's no need to be throwing things. But I guess it happened, I stood my ground to show that there's no effect from throwing stuff at us, it doesn't move us. Nothing happens to us. It was a silly situation, the Degenic, 24, doesn't, though, bear any acrimony towards the perpetrators, it's emotions and we move on. It's part of football, he added, you can't dwell on it. People sometimes don't think in those moments and I've forgotten about. You forgive and forget, if those people don't get punished I'm fine with that. It doesn't bother me, I'm just a footballer. I'm not on the disciplinary commission. As a footballer you experience a lot of things in different countries and continents. There are different beliefs and ways the game is looked at in different places but it's still the sport that unites and brings people together, having castigated himself for the errant back pass which led to UAE goal which ended Australia's AFC Asian Cup hopes at the quarter-final stage. The wounds are still healing, yes it could have happened to anybody but it didn't happen to anyone it happened to me and I'm a person who will never hide away from my mistakes, he said, I'm not going to take a step back and say it was someone else, or it's a team game and it's because we didn't score a goal, it's not that. The reason we lost is because I gave a short back pass which he, Ali Mabcount, read, if I hadn't done that, or given a stronger pass, or cleared the ball or fallen down when I felt that contact and used a bit of experience and brains to win a free kick, the outcome would have been different. It's not the first time it's happened to me but I hope it will be the last. It's always a risk as a central defender, you're always the last line and if somebody gets around you, or if you make a mistake, 95 percent of the time it's a goal, I'm sorry because as a team we could have done a lot more and achieved more. I feel bad for the boys and that's where I let myself down, but I have to move on and I'm doing that now. You learn from your mistakes and become a stronger person, I strongly believe we have a good national team and will go on to qualify for the next World Cup with confidence and good performances, you are at the beginning of your journey. You have a lot in the field of war on tournaments and we are waiting for more in your creativity pic.twitter.com slash 5 wordjad 3 d nada underscore 15 trophy at indoor 1. February 28, 2019 referring to his move to the Middle East, one which raised a few eyebrows, the Degenic revealed, I didn't have a single from Europe. Not one, which either showed not many clubs are interested in players from Red Star, or I don't know what, I had an offer from China and where I am now. I didn't want to go to China and I said if I'm going to Asia I want to go to the biggest club there and I've done that and I'm happy here, I still support Red Star and one day I'll go back there. 
but for now, I'm fully focused on this club and I'm here for the next three and a half years.